Yeah, we're taking a look at the monthly chart of the silver futures and the reason for the monthly chart just kind of slow everything down. You can definitely see the uh, the formations, the breakouts, the breakdown, so on and so forth. In, in this wedge formation right now, we've already hit it twice. First touch back in 2020 and then here in uh, September 2022. Uh, currently holding this 20 simple month moving average, which is really good uh, bullish positive. Now we do have a measured move here at the green dash line. We need to hold it. Uh, we lose it and or, well, and the uh, 20, then we're gonna come back, retest the 200 down here. And of course, uh, do our third hit, our third touch of our uptrend line, okay? We really don't think that'll happen unless there's some, you know, quote unquote, major manipulation of silver, basically because of the weakening dollar and all the other uh, geopolitical stuff that we can't really talk about on air but you know what i'm saying so anyway uh bottom line we take out i'll just get right down to it we take out this uh red bearish engulfing clearing takeout candle that took everything out for several months uh, over to the left side we take it out basically uh let me draw a line here if i can uh, take out this high pivot location there and the magic number okay is 26 reason why i say that 26 bucks uh that's when the magic starts for silver we'll definitely run up into that 30 dollars zone uh probably have a uh, minor pullback and then continuation so that's uh what we're looking for and uh we had to push to the upside shallow pullback so far uh, we want to maintain this level, uh, not at all costs, but you know, it's it'd be easier and better to break out of uh, this uh, red candle and that little high pivot area right there. Uh, clear 26, uh, whole round even number. The markets love those, so I uh, need to get past that. We'll be drawn to that like a magnet once we get over that zone. Uh, we could. Uh, instead of pulling back up here, we could have a little pullback there, retest this downtrend line that's been resistance, uh, you know, many times, and then, uh, you know, push on up into that $30 zone. But, you know, obviously, you know, obviously and unfortunately, it's not going to happen overnight. But, um, you know, as the DXY is losing more and more clout to actually every day, uh, then it becomes, you know, more reasonable uh, that we could do that, uh, you know, over the next several weeks, uh, probably into, you know, uh, first, second quarter of next year. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to learn how to do this stuff on your own, we have our Micro Futures uh, trading course, Introduction to Micro Futures below. Uh, should be 50% off. If it's not, then, you know, the, the deal is over. But um check us out and we will see you on the charts